Antonina's sister to come here, and they also invited Lorenzo's brother at different times. Now, in the meantime, Alfonso Kumbo was living here, and his daughter was still in Sicily, so his, his daughter was called Maria, and she was sent to come over. Of course, I'll go back to Andrew. Andrew came in 1911, and then Maria came in 1921. They were they met each other at that time and got married suddenly, as far as I can see. And uh, uh, I guess uh, who stood up at their wedding? I don't know if uh, Lorenzo and uh, Antonina did or not. I just got photographs at home. But at any rate, these two people came from the same island of Sicily which was uh, at one time called the Garden of Italy, S Sicily was called. Oh. They called that, yeah, it, it had a nickname of the little Giardino d'Italia, the Garden of Italy. They got together and in 1922 they had a son. Uh, did, I, did I tell you that they got married in 1921? Yeah. September, 20, September 25th, 1921. They brought with them from Italy all that they had, which was themselves. But the traditions of Italy came with them. Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that my folks uh, and my mom made the best spaghetti and meatballs ever tasted. I've tasted spaghetti and meatballs from different people, from different uh, uh, areas of uh, Sicily, uh, Italy, Naples. Calabria and all that, and I found that her, and of course, I, 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 uh, naturally I would be uh, uh, more or less wanting to uh, extol on, on what they did. I, I'm, I'm, at any rate, uh, she could make vegetable soup, chicken soup, but I, they brought all the traditions of Italy. My father, he played guitar and mandolin. He loved to play music. And uh, as we grew up, all we heard was him and his buddies would get together and uh, they would come over to the house and they would play. If there was a wedding, they would all be invited to go over there and play. There was uh, guitar, mandolin, banjo, and uh, they had a couple of brothers that even uh, of a second father who uh, played the wind instruments. But no matter where we went or what we did, there was music and there was food. There was food all the time. Italians, they like to eat. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Man. Okay, uh, Andrew Ligamari, Andrea Ligamari, had another brother called Antonino, and he, Antonio, and he married uh, uh, a, a beautiful woman from uh, a different a part of Italy. I, I'm not too familiar with uh, where it was or what, but uh, there, there, uh, where, uh, there existed in the city of Niagara Falls three families of Ligamarios, Andrew, Anthony, and uh, Lawrence. But in the meantime, Andrew's father, well, also Lawrence and Antonio's father, passed away. His name was Nic Nicola. Nicholas, but they the Italian is Nicola. He was still in Italy when he passed? Yes, he passed away in Italy. Nicola was an artist. And uh, uh, Andrew's uh, uh, father passed away sometime in the, in, in the past, and then uh, Antonia Panaccio, which was his, his mother's maiden name at one time, uh, she married Luigi. Morales, M-O-R-A-L-E-S, which in parentheses you can put this down that they changed it and Americanized it to M-O-R-E-L-L, -L, Morel. They, uh, they had uh, six sons and one daughter, and I'm not going to name them, they were all here. But at any rate, getting back to the music about the uh, uh, grandpa. My father, and uh, funny thing is, his brother Lawrence, he played a concertina, but he never did it uh, openly. And the other one uh, probably did the same thing. Uh, Lorenzo 
into an instrument. But my father played guitar and mandolin and played with a lot of string bands. And like I said, they played at all the weddings. And they brought with them the traditional Italian songs. Songs that uh, you might hear them today. Uh, I know that Al Caiola has a good tape on it about uh, Italian music. And it was identical to the one that my father used to do. They had a tarantella, the mazurka. And uh, of course, they, traditionally, they brought the dance, the tarantella, over here. And at the weddings, my mom would be dancing up a storm. As soon as they, somebody would say, Maria, Maria, they're playing the tarantella. I spent time, and she'd run on the middle of the floor. And we'd all start dancing. And, uh, well, Andrew and uh, Maria had eight children, four boys and four girls. And they, uh, they lived here in Niagara Falls all their lives. Now they're all married, four boys and girls. And they're still living in, some are scattered around, some are in California, some are in uh, Florida. Parts in Arizona, but that's the extent of the family that uh, I can remember with my my folks. 